Yeah, man. Welcome to Naturalist Jamaican Home Booking. See? Everybody can book if you really want to know how to book. Alright? If you're just joining, remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Right? So, this week, we're gonna be doing fry sweet potato naturally style all right come in Boom. yeah man so gonna peel the potatoes right remember the knife is very sharp sharp the knife so you have to be very careful so the potato is steamy as you can see, very stainy, so you have to avoid touching the apron with your hands or anything that you don't want to get messed up. Sweet potato having vitamin, also having antioxidant, right? Don't remember the exact vitamin that it has. Right, I don't remember how, which vitamin you get from the sweet potato, but I know it has vitamin, it has antioxidant, which is good for your skin. Right, so you can comment, comment, drop it in the comment and let me know what the, the health benefit of sweet potato. Right, but I know it's very healthy, right, rich in antioxidant, rich in vitamin. Right. I guess it would be a good carbohydrate supplement and fiber is very good. Yeah, exactly. Alright, so that's how you do it. You get a here real quick. You yeah, that the fried one. potato might be something nice to have with a naturalist big fish. You know what you think? Yeah man, definitely. Man, so this is how we drop it naturalist yardman style right this video sponsored by CR3 media pro focus photography all right so persons out there watching if you want to become a sponsor feel free to contact us right so you can check out CR3 media and pro focus photography and Facebook, all social media platform. Check out their work. All right, now we're gonna wash. Ensure that you wash thoroughly. Always remember to wash. All right, wash thoroughly. So after water, you want to wash your hands because it was the hole in the skin of the potato. Sometimes can attract dirt. Want to wash your hand, dry your hand. Right. Remember, potato is very stainy. You can see the stain cut on my hand, but can remove that with a little bit of soap and bleach. Right. So what you want to do? You want to cut the potato in some slices. Right. You can slant the potato. Right, and you slice it up. You have to be very careful because the knife is very sharp. I sharp it earlier on, so the knife is very sharp. You have to be careful with this one. No joke thing is you lose a finger, lose your whole hand too. Right. You have to be careful with this. Right, take your time, cut the potato, don't want any accident. Not much. Right, so you're gonna sprinkle what a pinch of salt. Right, in order to give it some taste. Normally, coconut oil is the best oil for cooking. Normally we use coconut oil, coconut oil and olive oil the best oil for cooking or frying or anything like that. So you want to 
rub the salt into the soup potato. So what type of oil is that? Like? This is vegetable oil. Right, lead of vegetable oil. Right, it's not the best oil, but this is what I have now. Not sponsored by Lida. No, this is not sponsored by Lida, but if Lida want, Lida can reach out to us. Contact us as a sponsor. Right, we would appreciate that. the stove on low right because the, the frying pan is very thin so you don't want it to burn easily so you put the stove on low so if persons had thicker pots then they could yeah you could probably use it a larger flame okay. a larger flame not very large um, but a larger flame so you pour in it and you cook it on you don't need a lot of oil, you just need the oil to cover the bottom of the pot. Right. You see you always have a fire extinguisher in the kitchen, I guess safety is also important, right? Yes, safety is paramount. Right. Once you are dealing with gas stove, right, it is a potential fire hazard. Alright, so you have to have a fire extinguisher. Right. For safety. And this is not sponsored by Ansel Century. No. But if they want to sponsor, yeah, actually, they, they, can, they can contact us. They can contact us. Right, so I'm checking the temperature to see if the, if the oil is hot. So you want to get the oil hot before you put in the potato. <coughs> what advice could you give to persons? I mean, you have some persons that are probably afraid of frying things because it will pop. What advice could you give them? that minimizes the splash of oil or oil popping out of your pan. When you're frying stuff that contains water on it, once water is on it, it's going to cause the splash of oil. Right? So one thing you can do to minimize the splash of oil is keep the fire as low as possible. Keep the flame as low as possible. Right? Or whatever you're frying, if you can avoid getting it wet. Right. But in most cases, it is hard to prevent um, the oil from splashing. But what you need to do when you're putting stuff in the pot, try to stay as far away as possible in order to avoid oil splashing up. So you put them in the pot. attention to the potato. So how do you know when the potatoes are ready? When the potatoes start to get brown or you can just use the fork to test it. When the fork can penetrate it, it's ready. Right, but it's early days yet. Right, and potatoes don't really take that long to be ready. Right. Probably 15 minutes time you're good to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah man, so first set ready, fry potato. Look brown and crispy and nice, you know. First scene, pot land, you know, chip duck. You see me? So we do a thing nice, you know, mad. Yeah man. Yeah man, so naturally fry sweet potato, right? There you have it. Only at naturally home cooking, right? Boom! I'm going to dig in and throw it to the bottom to see what it is. 
More self praise but nice and healthy, you know? Nice healthy food. Good. And say self praise is more recommendation, but good food, you know, good food. Not choice. Home cooking, Jamaican style, making and white. Versatile. You know?